that is such an incredible analogy. And I think this is a great, the people that are watching this, they are inspiring leaders or they're leaders or entrepreneurs in their business. I, I love this idea because I think the, the best way of disrupting yourself, it, it's very difficult to do. You can't, to disrupt yourself at once, to change what you are doing today, especially when you're successful, is very difficult to do. And I actually wouldn't recommend just changing everything at once. Mm. I love the speedboat approach, approach. I call it denting the outside, which is, let's say you have your business, you have your core. This is the value that you drive for your clients and your customers. But I, I feel that you should always be denting the outside of your core. It should be running small problems with small teams and small experiments mm. and trying to continuously um, innovate outside of the core of what you do. You might find a different way of running or doing your customer experience or how you position your brand or how you run your processes using new and novel technologies like artificial intelligence. And you're constantly experimenting outside of the core and you're building a muscle around innovation. That's what I believe. And then ultimately, if you find a winner, then you move that as part of the core of what you do. But it's it, you shouldn't change everything at once because what what happens is the immune system of the company <laughs> rejects it, right? You can't change the cruise ship all at once because it's just gonna everyone is gonna push off, push it off. And so I love this idea of continuously denting and building this muscle around innovation because that's how you're gonna go and continue to be relevant in the market.